darling little demon baby. We'll be back in the security and privacy of our own home. Where nobody will be able to realize that you're different from all the other babies. Mrs. Lennox. Yes, Nurse Kravitz. Would you please get into the wheelchair so that I can take you out? I don't need a wheelchair. I'm perfectly fine. It's hospital policy when a patient is being released. Besides, how can a person your age be fine after just giving birth? Good genes. I'd like to look at your genes under a microscope, let alone that baby of yours. Maybe that would explain what I saw. Find a way to prove that you two aren't normal. What an awful thing to say. We're perfectly normal. Oh, oops. So you will help me get settled at Tabitha's tonight, won't you? Are you sure that it's all right that Kay leave the hospital, Dr. Russell? You know, so soon after a C-section? Well, I was going to release her tomorrow, but she can leave today if she feels up to it. As long as you both know that the baby has got to stay in the hospital, she still needs 24-hour care. Yes, we know. You're horrible, Kay. You found out that Miguel was going to take Charity to Boston to the Red Sox game tonight, didn't you? That's why you suddenly decided to go home. You're always trying to find a way to come between Miguel and Charity. Excuse me, coming between them? Simona? Miguel is the father of my child. Okay, we're the family. It's Charity who's trying to come between us. So Miguel, you promised me that you were going to be here for me and the baby whenever we needed you. Are you going to break that promise, or are you going to be here for us? Are you really going to start your life as a father by ignoring us? Did you change your mind? Are you going to tell Teresa that you're going to go along with her plan? Oh, to pursue her so that uh, Ethan will get jealous? Right, but only without her knowing it. Right. So you'll be using her plan to get Teresa to fall in love with you. Look, I know you think that she's so crazy about Ethan that she'll never love you as much as you love her. But I definitely think she can. And I'm going to help you. Mm. By giving me tips. Right, exactly. I'm her best friend, so of course I know everything about her. I'll tell you everything she likes, everything she doesn't like so that you'll be able to win her heart. Oh, come on. We'd make a great team, working together 24-7. <laughs> and I promise you, when I get through with you, you're going to have the woman you love. I'm just so worried about Sheridan. Look, then there's got to be a reason why she had with any of us. Well, I can't imagine what it is, because it's just not like her to isolate herself from the people she loves, especially at a time like this. She is due to have her baby today. Oh, Gwen, look. Luis, he got a DVD from her in Paris. He said that she looked and sounded fine. Well, then why hasn't she called me? I'm scared for her, Ethan. What if Sheridan's in real trouble right now? Get me out of here, old woman. I'm telling you, you're better off if you stay put. Oh. Precious, you're back and your timing could be lousier because Luis is about to find Sharon when he does. Oh, we are all going to prison for life. Oh, I 
My baby, isn't she adorable? Light as a feather. My God, you promised. And don't you remember that you said Maria could count on you and that I could count on you and you'd be here? Yes, and yes, you... Kay, of course I remember. Okay, and I will be. But not right now, is that it? Oh, you're too busy to take care of the mother of your child? No, no. I'll, I'll take you to Tabitha's. Doing this so Miguel can't take charity to the ball game. Be disgusting, Kay. Grow up, Simone. Charity, I'm really sorry. Hey, it's all right. I kind of knew that we weren't going to go. So. You did it, Kay. You managed to screw up Miguel's night with charity, Miss Goody Goody. about him finding Sheridan. Are you crazy? You can't kill Louise. Every cop in the state will be looking for you, and they'll find you, too. I would have figured a way out of it. Oh, it's probably too late anyhow. By now, Louise knows everything. What? What is this? It's a picture from the police fundraiser. You love this picture. Yeah, I do love that picture. We can get it reframed. We'll get new glass. Yeah, we, we can get it fixed. Beth, what are you doing? I'm really sorry, okay, but it shouldn't take me long to get Kay back home and settled in. No, Miguel, we cannot go to the baseball game. It's okay. I knew that we wouldn't go. Charity, I'm taking you to that game, all right? Look, this is what we'll do, all right? You go to my house, get the tickets and our stuff, and meet me at Tabitha's. We'll leave from there. Are you sure? I don't want Kay any more upset than she already is. Let me worry about Kay, all right? Okay. Okay. You sure you want to be discharged today? Because, you know, you're still recuperating. No, I'm fine. I really want to get out of here. Okay, well, I'm going to start your discharge paper. Thank you. Okay. What do I need to do to help you get ready to go? Um, I guess get a cart for all these stuffed animals, and then we'll go with Maria down to NICU and say goodbye. I hate having to leave her here. Me too. She's just not well enough to go home. I know. Oh, you know what? I think I might need a wheelchair too. Yes, well, you can use this. I'm not getting any. It's it's a hospital policy for all new mothers. I told you no. Uh, uh, Nurse Kravitz, it's okay if Tabitha wants to walk out. We can. Bend the hospital rules just this once. Good work, Kay. Thank you. Miguel and I are going to be all alone tonight. And Charity, well, she's just going to be all alone. <laughs> Let me help you, Kay. <laughs> Thank you. Are you sure it's all right for Kay to go home so soon? Oh, she's young and strong, and I was going to let her go tomorrow anyway. And it's oh. not like she's ill, like Gwen. Oh, Gwen? She's still having problems with her pregnancy? Yeah, she and Ethan flew to L.A. to see a, a prenatal specialist. They're in Los Angeles? I'm so glad that you decided to go to L.A. instead of staying here just so that you could be near Ethan. Me 
happened to Mama? Uh, please don't think that just because I'm going out west for vacation means I'm giving up on my hopes and dreams. No matter how far apart Ethan and I are, we're going to find our way back to each other. No matter what. What? Yeah. Is something wrong? No, no, Eve, I'm fine. I just, I need to make a phone call, that's all. Okay, well, I'm gonna get Kay's discharge papers. All right. <sighs> Teresa's in Los Angeles with Ethan and Gwen. Dios mío. Ethan, you know how close Sheridan and I are. We have been best friends forever. Look, I know that, but I'm sure Sheridan would not want you to get upset over worrying about not hearing from her. Right, but that's just the thing. She knows how upset I would be. And it's not like her to just leave me out in the cold like that. I know that there are so many things that she wanted to talk to me about. I know, you, you would always hope that you and Sheridan would be pregnant at the same time. Right. And now we are, and where is she? Why hasn't she called to see if I'm okay or to tell me if she's had the baby? Or to ask me about Teresa? Teresa? Yes. She knows how it drove me crazy that Teresa was always hanging around like a vulture trying to think of anything she could to get her hooks into you. When, when Sheridan left, she knew that we were happily married and that Teresa was not trying to interfere. Well, Sheridan's been gone for a long time. And there are so many things I'd love to talk to her about. The complications with my pregnancy, for one. But also what a relief it is for me that Teresa's 3,000 miles away. Look, I'm sure Sheridan, she would just worry if she knew we were here in L.A. seeing a prenatal specialist. Why worry her when she's so far away? Well, I certainly wouldn't want to do that, Ethan. But, I mean, doesn't it strike you as odd that she has not called anyone? Not you, not Antonio, not Louise? Oh, look, that, that DVD said that she just needed to get away from the stress, that she just wanted to relax. I just don't understand, though. I mean, how could she just forget about our friendship or forget about the relationship she has with you and the strong bond you two have? I don't think she's forgotten. I think it's strange that she didn't at least tell Luis before she left. And maybe finding out that Beth was pregnant with Luis's child was the real reason she went away. Poor Luis. I know I was wrong about Beth faking her pregnancy, but... Now all I can feel is sorry for Louise. He's going to have to be responsible for this baby that he doesn't want, and he's not even in love with the mother. You know, I, I never understood why you thought Beth faked the pregnancy. Well, to trap Louise, for one thing. But also, I just really couldn't imagine Louise making love to Beth when he is so madly in love with Sheridan. Well, Louise didn't deny being the father, so he must have made love to Beth. Also, she gets this look in her eye when she looks at Luis. This look I don't trust. It's the same look that Teresa gets in her eye when Glenn, she looks Glenn, at you. Teresa, Teresa. I mean, it always comes back to Teresa, no matter what we talk about. Well, honey, I guess it just does, because she has been such a thorn in my side for so long. Listen, if someone told me that Teresa was in Los Angeles right now plotting to get you, I wouldn't be the least bit surprised. Come on, Teresa, think. How can I get even back? Oh, it's no use. You know what? I cannot think of another plan. But I can't give up. Ethan said he loves me. And he admitted that he wasn't going to marry Gwen if she hadn't been pregnant. He, he's lying to her about me being out here in Los Angeles. So how can I prove to Ethan that we belong together? You know, if I don't come up with something, I may have no choice but to give even up forever. Hello? Hello, Teresa. It's Mama. Oh, Mama, Mama, is, there, is everything all right? Is little Ethan okay? He's fine, sweetie. Nothing's wrong. Oh, good. <laughs> it's good to hear your voice. How are you? I'm, I'm fine, Teresa. Um... Teresa, I, I'm calling because I want to discuss something with you. Something I'm sure you don't want to hear. Well, what is it? 
Teresita, you told me that one of the reasons you went to Los Angeles was to give Ethan and Gwen time alone together to wait for the birth of their baby. Now, did you know that they were in Los Angeles when you decided to go out there? What are you planning to do, Teresa? Okay, so you're saying we'd be together all the time? Oh, absolutely. Okay. I mean, I would be hounding you, making sure you knew exactly what to do to get Teresa. Okay, Whitney, I'm gonna need a little bit of time to think about this one, okay? Oh, okay, sure. Excuse me. Okay. <laughs> if I spend that much time with Whitney, I know I can make her love me. I know I can. Chad, how long have you been standing there? Long enough. Long enough to hear exactly what's going on. Chad, I don't think you understand. No, I understand. You were talking to Whitney about Teresa. Even though I told her I didn't want to play in matchmaker. Now she's got you so worked up, you're over here mumbling to yourself, man. <laughs> All right, well, look, don't blame Whitney, okay? I was actually talking to myself about a conversation that I had with Teresa. Oh, man, that ain't good either. Come on, <laughs> trust me, Fox. You don't want to be involved in any of Teresa's harebrained schemes. Um, it's not a harebrained scheme, Chad. Teresa and Fox belong together. And we're going to make it happen, right? Don't do it, Fox. Look, you're going to end up getting hurt, and you're not going to wind up with the person you love. Hmm, I think you're wrong, actually. I think I will end up with the person that I love. Mama, I am not trying to hurt Gwen, honest. Teresa, please tell me you're not hatching some plan to try to take Ethan away from Gwen. Okay, please, calm down, all right? I, I did not know that Ethan was going to be here, so you, you just don't have to worry. And you know what? I don't think Ethan and I will ever be together now. Ethan, is something bothering you? What? You just got a really strange expression on your face when I mentioned Teresa being in Los Angeles. Wait, she's not in Los Angeles, is she? Okay, so how are you feeling? You still feel up to going home today? I feel fine. And knowing Miguel's gonna be there to help me makes me feel better. Doctor, how can it be that Kay is still weak? And Tabitha Lennox, who is at least three times her age, is so spry. Well, Kay had surgery and, and Tabitha gave birth naturally. Yes, and that's the other miracle. That she gave birth naturally at her age and with no complications. Well, yeah, I have to admit it is pretty amazing, but uh, maybe Tabitha just come from that good, strong stock. Oh, Dr. Russell, haven't you ever seen anything odd about Tabitha's baby? Okay, now you've talked to me about this before, Nurse Kravitz, and I still don't know what you mean. I, I mean strange. Strange things. Oh, excuse me, I have to sign Kay's discharge papers. Excuse me. If you think you'll pin anything on me or my baby, huh? you got another thing coming, this crab ass. I hate having to leave you here. I guess I don't have a choice, do I? I love you so much. What time is the Red Sox game? Eight o'clock. Then you and Charity should have time to make it. Yeah. Say goodbye to Daddy, sweetheart. Bye, Maria. Oh, yeah, because he's got to take me home now. But we'll see you tomorrow, okay? Thanks. Oh, time to go. 
Uh, where's Nurse Kravitz? Uh, I don't know. I guess you'll just have to push the wheelchair. That's how it is when you're a parent, huh? You being there for me and Maria whenever we need help, and I'll be there for both of you once I get better. Okay, are, are you sure that you're ready to go home? Yeah, I'm fine. As long as I know you're going to be there to help me, Miguel. You just had major surgery. I mean, I don't want you to be going home too early. But, Miguel, I just did what I had to do for our daughter, for Maria. I would sacrifice anything for her. And I know in the future, both of us will be able to count on you to make any sacrifices. You're not going to make that game tonight, Miguel. You'll be too busy making me all comfy and cozy once we get back to Tabitha's house. Beth, what are you doing? Oh, I was just um, trying to clear all this Careful. glass out of the way so Precious, you know, doesn't cut herself. Precious, I totally forgot about Precious. Hey, Precious. Hey, the wait. Honey, what happened? Did you find something? Well, just this picture. Oh, it fell off the wall. Hey, oh, Precious. Well, you see, Precious likes to knock things off the shelves. You see, uh, uh, she really enjoys that kind of thing. Makes a mess. <laughs> hey, Louise. Um, why don't you just go ahead and go home? Mother and I will put the groceries away, and then we could get some rest. Well, you can rest after. I'll put the groceries away. No. You've done enough already. Seriously, I don't mind. First, we're going to check the house, aren't we, Fresh? Check the house? Check the house! Well, yeah. I heard someone call my name, and I did recognize the voice. Wait, you recognized it? Not exactly, but uh, it did sound familiar, yeah. Well, you know, honey, I'm sure you're just tired. We all are, right, Beth? Mm-hmm. <laughs> we're so tired. we got to go to bed. Well, still. Look, I'd feel better just checking the house, okay? Come on, Precious. And you get to work on the crib, all right? There you go. I don't want to do it, Bethy, but it's the only way. And you better not be in love with him. Don't, don't be ridiculous, Charlie. Okay, then. The only sensible thing to do is to kill Luis. And Sharon, right now. Look, Fox, you do what you want, but just make sure you're doing what you want to do, not something that someone else is pushing you into. Hey, I'm not pushing. I'm just trying to help two people that belong together be together. Look, I'm just saying that Fox should go at his own pace, all right? Oh, Chad, hey, don't worry about it, man. I'll go at my own pace. And I tell you what, I bet you at the end of the race, I'm with the woman of my dreams. Ethan, you're not answering my question. Is Teresa in L.A.? You know, I, I hate it that you're still obsessed with this Teresa thing, okay? It's causing you way too much stress. You just need to forget about it. And one day I will. One day. Uh-huh, when Teresa is happily married to someone else. And I know that you don't like the idea of Teresa and Fox getting together, but they are perfect for each other. Fox is conniving and duplicitous. Exactly. And so is she. That's what I mean. Oh, come on, Ethan. I'm just teasing. Well, I'm serious, Gwen, okay? When, when are you ever going to be able to put Teresa behind us? When... I know that, you know, Teresa's moved on and she's not constantly plotting and scheming behind my back to get you. Then I will rest easy. When I know that I don't have some crazy woman following me around from town to town trying to steal my husband. I just want to make sure you're not bothering Gwen. Her pregnancy is very precarious. Um, Mama, I I'm not bothering Gwen. I... I want her to have a healthy child. You know, she doesn't even know that I'm here in Los Angeles. Oh, good. Um, well, you just tell me about Lil Ethan. Has he said any new words? And, and what about Miguel and Kay's baby? I mean, are, is she better? Well, she's, um, she's still in intensive care. But Eve thinks that she will be all right eventually. 
And actually, Kay's going home today. That's good. And, and, and what about Beth? And, and Sheridan? Has anyone heard from her? No, not yet. And Beth seems to be doing okay. And your little Ethan, <laughs> he's trying to talk more every day. But he misses his mother. Well, I miss him, too. Could you uh, tell him I love him and I will be home as soon as I can? As soon as you can? What do you mean? What's keeping you in Los Angeles? Mama, it's a figure of speech, okay? I'm going to be home soon. All right. Did I tell you, um... Kay and Miguel decided to name the baby Maria after your grandmother. God rest her soul. Really? That's so sweet. I mean, you must have been so pleased. I was. I was very touched. But I... I have to tell you, I'm a little suspicious of Kay's motives. What do you mean? I mean, she's trying to do everything she can to bind Miguel to her, even though she knows that Miguel is committed to charity. Oh. Oh, um, Mama, I, you know, I gotta get going. Could you just tell little Ethan that I love him and I will be home soon? And I love you. Maybe by the time I get home, I will bring little Ethan a daddy. Ethan. Hi. Teresa. Hi. We gotta talk. All right, what about? Have you changed your mind about helping me? And it's not because I'm in love with him, but because it would bring us too much trouble. She's right. That's exactly what I tried to tell her. Charlie, you got to get Sheridan back downstairs. And you have to stay with her until she has the baby. Okay. I guess you're right. Yes, I am right. Now, you got to hurry. Get Sheridan back downstairs. Oh, damn it. Sheridan must have had the lock when she opened the door. Precious, Precious, go in the kitchen. Go get the key and hurry. Go, 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 hurry. Okay, okay. No, we've got to get this door open before Luis gets back down here. Are you all right? Ugh. Yeah, I just had a really weird vision. Charity, come on. You're not going to start this again, are you? I mean, haven't you caused enough trouble already? It was your stupid premonition about a baby being in danger that caused me to give birth prematurely to Maria. Yeah, you know what? You're right. I'm so sorry. I, I need to go. No. Yeah, I think that's a great idea. No, Charity, Charity, wait. No, it, it's so much better if I go. No, it's not. It's not. Okay, I said I'd get you home from the hospital, and I did. And I know that I said that I'd always be there for you and the baby, and I will be. You know, but I need to spend time with other people that I love and care about. Charity and I are going to be spending some time together tonight. But, Miguel, I need you. I need you to help me go upstairs. I can help you, Kay. I have nothing to do for the rest of the night. I can do anything you ask me to. You see? You know, Simone's here, Tabitha's here. You're going to be fine. Charity and I are going to Boston. Oh, God. Don't let my baby be hurt. Louise. Where the hell is the monkey? I think we should still just kill Louise. It's the easiest way. No! I told her it was crazy. 
and get the right key. Coming. Hi, dear. Hi. I couldn't find anyone. Oh, did you really think you would? Well, I know that I heard someone calling my name. Who? Oh, who could it be? I don't know. It sounded like a woman. You know, with some radio talk show on it. Yeah. I don't think so. The voice sounded familiar. Well, you searched the whole house and you didn't find anybody, so I think you should just go home. Well, and... you know, actually, I didn't search the basement. I don't know, maybe a kid got into the house, got trapped in the basement. At least, how could that happen? I don't know. I'm going to check it out, all right? After that, I'll go home. So you got the tickets? Uh, yeah, right here. Great. This is gonna be so cool. So cool. You lose, Kay. Miguel and Charity are going to their game. They are going to have a wonderful time. And there's nothing you can do to stop them. Shut up, Simone. <laughs> And Miguel spend the evening alone together tonight. Anything can happen. I know that. What can I do? Well, you've got to think of something to stop them. I mean, they could go to a hotel. Or, or even worse, like I said earlier, they could they could elope. Don't say that. Tabitha, don't even think it, okay? You've got to do something to stop them. Or you'll never get Miguel. Miguel will never be. Shh. Just shut up and let me think for a second. Think, think fast. Okay, I've got it. What? I've got a way to keep Miguel here tonight. He and Charity aren't going to go anywhere. He's going to be here with me all night long. Look, Ethan, I know that you don't want Teresa and Fox together, but I think it would be the best thing for them. I think they would make each other really happy. I want it so much, I feel like going to the chapel and praying for it. No, don't pray for something like that, all right? Would you relax? I'm just kidding. I know, Gwen, look, I, I know you don't care too much for Teresa, but believe me, Fox is not a nice guy. I wouldn't wish him upon anybody. And Fox and Teresa, they can't be together. They just can't. <laughs> hey, um, Sid's singing at the Marina tonight, and I need a recorder. Do you want to go? Oh, I really love that restaurant. Do you mind if we all go? Sure. Okay, good. I'll at least see if Fox and Teresa want to come with us. <laughs> what are you smiling about? Mm, I think it's really going to happen. I think Fox and Teresa are going to be a perfect couple. Oh, you look a little serious. What do you want to talk about? Okay, well, I've been thinking about it, and um, I've decided that uh, I'm going to help you get Ethan. Oh, my God. Thank you. Thank you so much. This is so wonderful. I know that, 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 that you helping me, I, I can get Ethan, and I will find a way to help you get your Mr. Woman. We are both going to be with the people that we love. Well, I hope so, Teresa. Really, I do. Okay, 
Louise. No, you don't have to check the basement right now. I mean, we would have heard if someone were down there, right? Maybe. Beth, I just want to check it out to make sure, okay? If no one's in the basement, then I'll leave. You can get your rest, okay? Okay. 